Hi, welcome, I'm Impact Frames. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use Confi UI to render 3D models and only from one picture here. We have this workflow that is using CRM. And this is the CRM repo from Floaty. And I also have another one here that I'm gonna show you later, which is the, the Mr. For Example repo. And it's very nice also. Yeah, so we have this too. That one is the alternative. We can use any of these are the same. So you can see that we have the mole in here and after we render this mole, we can send it back into Blender or ZBrush, Maya, anything like you can see in here. I'm using Blender because it has the G GLTF plugin that you can select in here. You can look for GLTF and it will then enable it and you will have the refresh that and then you will have it here so you can import your mole from the output folder in Confi UI. So you select the GLB or GLTF, which is a format for websites and stuff that you can render 3D in websites. And now you have it here. So it's like an optimize for OpenGL and that kind of thing. So as you can see, here is our mole. And as you can see, it has a lot of, a lot of polygons and it's not worded for like an asset that is gonna be in front of the camera. So this is enough for something that is far away that nobody will notice, but for something that is close to a camera or that you want to afford, you will need to retopologize this or maybe sculpt on top. And for that, we have this thing called a speed retopo. By the way, I'm gonna scheme up on this thing. I don't gonna show everything perfect because it's a complex subject and it will require a video for that, just for that. But basically you got your thing in there and you can press E and you can start like move, moving your polygons around. And this is sticking to the, to the mesh because I have this thing selected that makes the sticking to the face. So you have like an, a shrink wrap uh, thing that I added here at the beginning. So basically if I, if I were to just delete this, actually, yes, I just delete that one. And if I select my, my thing and I start a retopo here, it will send it uh, to that side. Well, I can select anything on top. I can select that one in there and move it around. And now I have it here on top of the girl, but the colors and everything is not quite nice. So I can just add a new color in here, select the color to something like blue and then select the alpha around 50 and then come into back face cooling and select uh, alpha hash and maybe alpha hash in here too and now i can basically move it around yeah like So with that modifier there, basically I select the stream modifier and put it like a bit uh, longer and stuff so I can move it around. And now I can select, for example, that and press E and that will extrude that, that edge. If I select another one here, for example, this one and press E and now press E again on that. And I drop it there, you can see like it's auto merging because I select the auto merging in that area. So you can see how it auto merged there by in the exact position. Yeah, something like that. I can be more careful next time if I'm gonna do it for real, but this is just to show you how it's done. So we can actually, if you want to see the texture, you need to press in this button here at the top that it has the material. And that's how you work with this thing. So you import the molds, you send it in here, you can retopologize it, or you can even select your mold in object mode in there. And then you can select the mold and then you can go into a sculpt mode and change some parts. Maybe you can sculpt on top, do whatever you want with the different brushes. Select the mood brush and yeah, that's that's a way of working with this thing. Or even if I want to make like even more perfect, I can sculpt this in set brush, grab one of the 
grab one of the textures that I got me from the output and do a reprojection of those textures that, for example, they got in here. I can send it into, into setbrush and rep, reproject the texture on top of my mold. And that's a way I could work to make this like production level later. But since we are here in the workflow, let's show how to work with this. And to work with this, you have this button here that controls the flow. And I'm using the, the Playground 2.5 mode that just came out. And Playground is a software, a service similar to Mid Journey, where you pay a fee and not sponsored by them. But I use them at the beginning. I think it's a good service. And they have this new model that is been trained with a automatic evaluation for the aesthetics and that's why it's getting like this quality of pictures really nice. You can see all these really beautiful pictures and you can get this model from this website, the Playground Hugging Face thing. This is the model card and this is the 1024 version and I recommend you to get the F F16, FP16 version and also the VAE, you're gonna need the VAE FP16, that's the one that I'm using right now. But you can get the full float if you like. And for the prompts, I'm using my custom node that I made that is using Olama. And to run Olama, you can basically install it with one click. But if you copy this from the, uh, the name of the mold that you download, I'm gonna put the link in the description. When you copy this and put it in your terminal and you start your terminal, just click on your terminal. And then if you do this, Olama run, you can start asking questions to Olama. And what I'm doing is like, for example, if I write a flower, it will make a prompt for a flower. Portrait of a flower, full view on oil painting at a station, AK. That's the response from this model. And that's basically what it's doing here in my thing. It's actually connecting to that. And if you put a prompt in here, it will give you like a full prompt that you can read in, in here, right? And this one is like a more evolved prompt because you have like embellishments and styles and a, a negative prompt that you can add. And you are connecting that into your text encoder and it gets connected in here. And yeah, that get, gets rendered. And as I said, I am using the playground mode and you can see like the quality of the image is really nice. If you want to run everything at once, you can basically uh, enable that part and you connect this routing here into the upscaler. If you want to select an image after it's created, you can just load it from here, go into the images and look for the image that we created now. For example, I don't know, one image that is created here, any, but I was trying to look for that one, but I can select this one in here. And now we have the image. So if you want to run that, you deselect the top part and just run this area to get your 3D model in here. And that's how it works. It's the same for my other custom node that I made. I added also the, the remove background thing. And you can select, for example, if you were to work with anime pictures, you can move this uh, remove background uh, node for anime. Or you can use general if it's a more general purpose that you like. Again, you can select like your guidance, your steps for the inference steps. If you put more inference steps, the result will be closer. And yeah, and then you will spend a bit less time or probably will have easier time when you are retopologizing or sculpting on top. So to install these nodes, you're going to need NVIDIA Toolkit 12.1 and you get your version for Linux or Mac depending on what you are doing and follow the instructions in here. The thing is, is that you're going to need the toolkit 12.1. For the Python, if you're going to go for a separate environment, I, I recommend to have between 3.11.1 and 3.11.5 because I tried first with 3.11.8 and it didn't work, but I think it was also something that I fixed later that you won't have that problem because my my request, my pull request was approved. 
and now the the repo has it i i send another pull request to mr for example and floaty perhaps perhaps they approve it here or maybe they fuse this with the main repo i don't know i just made it so you don't have to have the same problem that i had because i had to spend like a weekend <laughs> to make it work so you're gonna need to install this in your computer, the Mr. For Example one. You go into Config UI 3D Pack. If you install first the Mr. For Example, I recommend it to do it this way. You copy the, the Git thing in here and go into your Config UI custom nodes. So you go, you move into Config UI Windows Portable, Config UI, and then custom nodes. And in here you select Open Terminal and it will open terminal into this folder. Otherwise, you're gonna need to move into a custom node folder with CD, config UI, custom nodes. And then you do git clone and basically copy the Mr. For Example repo. And that will install the repo in there and then you will have it here in the 3D pack. Let's look for the 3D pack for this. Okay, so you have it now in here and if you run this, double click on that, you will uh, run it and you will install all the things like I have. Actually, that's the Blender one. <laughs> what? What is the, the proper one? Okay, so if, if you click that one, double click it. I don't gonna do it right now because it's, it's gonna reinstall everything. I had it open and I needed to... I was interrupted and now it's not here but basically if you double click this it will install everything for you and you don't have to like worry about any dependencies or anything and the first time you run the mister for example nodes it will go ahead and install all the molds for you so that one will install all the molds if you go for the floaty only if you go for floaty then you need to go into the you need to move into the config i float a crm and pip install the requirements also install the cuda requirements and after that you need to go into this website which is the hugging face repo for crm and download the different modules and put them inside your config UI mole folder so you're gonna need to go into a moles folder checkpoints and install your checkpoints in here. The same for the playground mode. You can see my playground mode here in checkpoints and the BAE, you're gonna need to go into BAE and install it here in your BAE. Okay, so that's all for the installation. It's quite, it's quite difficult installation, but if you do it with the Mr. For example, dot bat, it will be quite easy to get everything right. And if you have any problems asking my in, in, under this video, I will try to help you with the installation. Okay, so to get my custom notes, of course, you can always come into Comfy Word, uh, Comfy Workflows, of course, in my thing, and you can get any of the custom notes stuff that I've been making. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.